Hello, I'm Rick Stivers. I'd like to welcome you back to uh, Young Martin's Reels. And this is just going to be a quick preview. These are some reels that I got today. I bought these off of eBay and they arrived today. So I figured I'd give you a quick preview of what was coming. Uh, they're all three Shakespeare reels. This one here is actually in very good shape. It's a Shakespeare Wondercast 1771. And uh, it seems to be in reasonably decent shape. It's very tight. Uh, the... Uh, button on it doesn't stay up when you push it up it drops right back down so we'll have to take that apart and find out what's going on with that uh, but it does turn um let's see the line is kind of eat up in there it's all twisted up inside there we go and i don't have any idea whether the drag on it works or not but uh this is a quick check Throw that through there. Uh, what I wanted to do is, show, I did a slight evaluation of these, not much, just a little bit. Okay, the drag on this one is frozen. I've got it very loose now, and it's still, yeah. Okay, so this one, I think it's mostly just lubrication. Uh, so we're going to take this one apart, clean it real good and see if we can't get it up and running again. Uh, unfortunately for this one, the handle's in really nice shape. Uh, most of these Shakespeare spin cast reels that I've encountered have this type of problem with the handle. So I've got to see what I can do for this one. And this is a Wondercast 1777. Or is this one was a 1771 this is a 1777 and it works got the anti-reverse here it's very similar to one i did earlier today uh what is that one that was a that was a spin cast 66 okay so this is a 1777 but the um, anti-reverse on it looks very similar to that one uh, the button is different it does wind. Uh, the handle, of course, is rotted. And uh, it seems that um, maybe the rotor on it is working properly. We'll see. Yeah, it drops down. You push the button, it goes up and locks up in place. So that part of it's okay. Um, I'm not sure this one has a drag at all. I don't see any kind of drag. Oh, yes, it does. This one has the same type of drag as that Spincast 66 does. It, uh, and we got dead bugs in here. Anyway, the drag on it is this ring that goes around here. And, um, that's a felt ring. And that felt ring is going to ride on this right here. But right now, that lower spool is froze up. And uh, let's see if we can get it to rotate. Okay, yeah, now it's work. It's turning. So apparently the line was just twisted. All right, so we put all that back together. And the drag on this one should work just fine. So this is one that's going to be coming. And like I said, you guys seem to appreciate these old um, spin cast a lot more. And this beast I'm going to spray. Again, it's got the bad handle over here. The drag adjustment is here, but it's frozen up. It won't move at all. Um, we have no button. So I think this is one of those that you shift backwards to cast, and then you wind, but it won't wind anymore. So this one's got a lot of work it's going to need. Yeah, see how the clicker here? I think that's the reset for it, but then it should twist, and it doesn't. And the cover won't come off. This is the drag, just like it's the drag on this one over here. But we cannot get this to break loose. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this one in a Ziploc bag, and we're going to spray it down with WD-40. And we're going to let it sit for a few weeks and see if that WD-40 can get up inside there. Somebody's tried to pry this off before, and they've got it to where you can actually turn the outside head if you really try real hard. Uh, but they've tried to pry it open and were unsuccessful, apparently. And we're going to see if we can get this to separate. And, uh, but that's our plan for it.
if you're going to do one of these, what you need to do is make sure to spray the whatever penetrant you use, whether you're using PV Blaster or you're using WD-40 or Liquid Wrench. But you spray it like that, that's going to do a little bit of good, but it's not going to get into everything. So what you want to do is spray it up inside. Okay, get up inside all the holes and spray this lubricant, this penetrant, up inside so that it can get into everything. You want it into every part of this reel that you can get it into. And don't rush this. Let's see, I see here that it appears, maybe not, maybe, yeah, it has a broken off screw back here. And I may have a spare screw sitting around that I can put in that, we'll see. And we're just gonna spray everything here down real good with WD-40. If that doesn't work, I've got that stinky stuff, that PB Blaster that somebody recommended. I've still got it sitting around. I think this was actually a repainted reel. Uh, if you look, there's a lighter green coming in underneath this dark green that's on here. So I think that might be the original color for the reel. But I think it's going to be a really nice reel if I can get it broke free. But I'm going, this is, it's going to be weeks or maybe even months down the road before you guys see this reel again. But this is my, oh, by the way, in case I didn't, I forgot to tell you what it was. This is definitely a repaint. This is a Spin Wonder Reel Deluxe by Shakespeare. This is a Model 70. And I'm trying to see. It says Made in the USA, but I don't... No, wait a minute. I said 70. That's not right. Let me clean this off just a little bit here and see if I can see that code. It's an FG, so I've got to look up on the chart and find out what that is, what model number that is, uh, what year. This is an FG. This one over here is an FC, and this one here is an EC. So that, that's the year that they first started making that particular reel, not necessarily the year that it was made. All right, I just took a minute to look them up, and this one here has a date code of FG, which means it's 1954 was the first year that they made this particular design model of reel. This one over here is EC. That means it was a 1968 and first year of manufacture. And this one here is an FC, which means that it was a 1958 all right, so these three reels will be coming out little by little. I'm not going to try to do one by one by one, one right after the other. I want you to have a little bit of a chance to experience these reels a little bit. I'm going to move on after this after this video and film a spin casting uh, reel video, I believe, is what's next on my agenda. But uh, with time, I'm going to work these into the schedule, and they're all going to get done. So for now, that's Rick Stivers with Young Martin's Reels. Signing out.